So, uh, Lord Mayor, Councillor Tony Fitzgerald, we've just had a walk around the Victorian Quarter in McCurtain Street, and uh, I have to say, from my point of view, it's been quite an insight into what goes on in a hidden part of the city, usually, I think. How did you find it? Well, I, I must say I've been taken aback this morning by the various uh, interest, the various enthusiasm, the dynamic of the people, uh, the variety of, of, of shops and restaurants, and, and uh, enterprise uh, within the Victorian Quarter, you know, known as McCurtain Street. I think the vibrancy here is just amazing. It's growing and growing uh, and getting better. You know, I want to commend everybody here uh, at, at, at uh, McCurtain Street for, for bringing, you know, bringing life to this part of the city, which is a huge part of our, of, of our, of our city here in, in Cork. Every, every, every success. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. And um, I, I'm really taken aback. The old Thompson's building is is ready for uh, new development in terms of uh, an, an international hub uh, for for various enterprises here. Uh, it has retained its character. It has retained its history. Um, I'm young enough to remember it being a bakery, um, and the you know the vans arriving in here uh, in in the in the city um, on McCurtain Street. This is amazing. And and it's unique as well. You can you you couldn't build a building like this. No, you, no. you know the, all the new glass buildings around the place. You you, you can't reproduce the character that's in here. It doesn't compare at all. Really. No, no. Uh, and they've retained the character of the building. And then we have the call centre for Sherwood. It's unbelievable. Really, really dynamic. Hi, Georgina. hi, how are you, Caroline? Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, everybody, welcome. Hi, how are you? Um, so we have about 500 people here. Um, we, we started operating in Cork in 94, and we moved into this premises in 2005. So as you know, this is an old bakery building. Yes. Um, so there isn't a straight wall in the place. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was kind of a creative use of an old bakery building to make it what is fundamentally a call centre. So we have about 50 nationalities working here at the moment. Um, we operate from 6 a.m. to midnight, and um, we take calls primarily from Europe, Middle East, and Africa. But at this time of the day, in the morning, we're taking calls from North America. We're taking 100% of the calls yes. from North America. Taking calls from Australia and basically everywhere around the world. So the old ovens used to be there and then come out and then I think they go down in a train down to the docks. So we have some areas we call like the cake room and yeah. a nod back towards the bakery. It was quite insightful to see the level of cultural diversity that's on my Absolutely, street. yes, yes. We have people from all over the world here who are, who are, who are working here. And that's why uh, I called in my election speech for a new urbanism in Cork because um, we're ready for a long-term vision um, of a new urbanism in the city. Well, we could see how much it meant to the employees and the yes. shop owners. Yes, yes, yeah, how much yeah. It meant. and they want to do more. Yes. They, yeah, like it's not a, it's not a one-stop shop. It's a, it's a long-term plan, uh, and they want to be part of the vibrancy of the of the of, of the area, um, retaining, you know, the historical elements and the new. The, the emerging needs of the city. Don't tell me now you tied it up I, in a day. I, I, I was in here quite early. Uh, I couldn't tell you what time because I wouldn't have a clue, you know? So which is the oldest clock here? Or? Oh, I'd have to say a Cork one, but unfortunately it's not. Probably a Dublin yeah. one. That's uh, okay. One of the grandfather clocks we, behind you there. We don't mind being home to that. No. And the emerging, the emerging needs of the people. Um, you know, the Scotch clock shop. What an amazing place to visit, you know. I mean, people should call in there. It's amazing. Just amazing. as much history as Thompson's in its Absolutely, own way. absolutely. Um, but, uh, uh, a visit from the Lord Mayor, of course, gives, gives them great validation of the work they're doing. Well, of course, the connection between the Lord Mayor's office and the people is 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 an ongoing process, and it has been. There's a huge uh, connection between the the Lord Mayor's office and particularly the chain of office, uh, which is now 230 years old, and and people have a, a lovely affection with the with the uh, with the Lord Mayor's office and the chain of office, and that continues. And I'm very proud uh, to wear it uh, this year on behalf of the people and the, the welcoming and support I've got from all across the city has been a amazing and uh, I've just one month in office and already it's an amazing experience. Well, we'll be hearing more about that at the end of the month. Absolutely. But it's been great to follow you through the Victorian Thank Court today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Continue success. Come on, good. Thank you. Lord Mayor, uh, Councillor Tony Fitzgerald there on his tour of the Victorian Quarter in McCurtain Street in Cork.